Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, VFX in Sequencer. Now, these are some Niagara VFX. I'm actually going to be using some Niagara VFX in my short film, and I thought it might be interesting for all you guys to know. Now, this is going to be a short video, although every time I say that, it ends up being like a two hour video, so uh, we'll see. Now what I'm looking for is the Niagara effects that I have here. This is from a Niagara pack that I bought on Black Friday. I'm going to link a link in the description for you to look it up. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. I, I think it's really good quality and it has a bunch of stuff. So uh, it's kind of like this one over here. It's pretty cool. And yeah, I, I highly recommend it. So go check that out if you're interested in some uh, cool energy balls and portal looking VFX. Now what we're going to do with this is uh, I want to show you how to use it in sequencer. So once you have your uh, Niagara effect on screen, all you have to do is create a sequence, of course. So we're going to make a level sequence. Let's call it a tutorial VFX. Okay, got our sequence. Let's just add a camera, really back. I think over here is fine. Um, oh, we're not gonna mess around with the settings of the camera because that's not as important for this tutorial. Uh, what I wanna do is make sure that we capture as much as we can of this effect. Now, when it comes to the Niagara effect, we're going to grab it and drop it into Sequencer. And you can see that this thing is just run forever. And if you wanted to record it this way, it will record and it will look fine. Let me turn off game mode. There you go. Um, it, it will look fine, to be honest, if you record it like this. However, if you want that effect of the emitter starting, because when the emitter starts, like if you're opening the portal or if you have an energy ball of some sort uh, and it's starting, I think it's really cool. I actually have this effect in my short film because I wanted the portal to start at a specific point. So let's say we want the energy ball to start from here at frame 44. All we have to do is go to our track here and click on track. And we're going to do a Niagara component. So I had to switch that up so it shows up on screen. Yeah, now it's showing up on screen. So Niagara component right here and then on Niagara component, then you have a bunch of things that you can do uh, to this one now. The interesting one for us in this tutorial is going to be Niagara System Lifecycle Track. So if you click on this one, uh, you're going to see that it creates this nice track with a big red bar. And what this indicates is when it's going to start and when it's going to end. So you can tell it when to start and when to end this way. Now you see if we scroll this way, nothing happened, nothing happens, and then our particle starts. Also, if you wanted your particle to end, Let's say, I don't know where it goes to. Let's see where it is. Oh, it's right here. Not that far. Uh, let's just type 450. And if you want it, let's say you're wanting your particle to end at a certain point, you can do so. And you can see the particles disappearing. Let's end it even before that. And now you have this. So if you click play, you can see your particle starting and ending. And that was it. It will fade out with time because they all get killed. And yeah, that was it. As you can see, it's fairly easy to do. There's nothing you need to do to it. Um, you can add it to whatever sequence you want and you can add it to whatever camera position. It has, mm, uh, I haven't had any issue with depth of field. I just throw it in there. And it worked. I know there was a thing where if you didn't have the Niagara component inside of Sequencer, it wouldn't go through the depth of field. But for me, it's doing it. So um, I don't know, just throw it in there and you'll see that it works great. It just hit and it starts and it ends. OK, yeah, that was actually a quick one. Uh, thank everybody for watching. Thanks to all my patrons. There's a shout out to all my patrons because I've changed that. Level one and level two get a shout out and level two get my videos on early access.
Uh, follow me on Twitter. There's a Discord if you have any questions. Follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.